Hello and welcome to another class of GSM Identify. So today in this class we are going to continue with GSM Identify. So in last class we had discussed about MSISDN, IMSI number. We had discussed about temporary mobile subscriber identity and MSRN. So now today we are starting with BSIC. This is an identifier which is base station identification code from the name itself that this is a code which is used to identify the base station in a network so what about the composition of this that here we have NCC and we have BSC NCC as network color code which is base station code now this color code is of three bits and this base station code is also of three bits now why this color code is required it is depends upon the colors that means we have identified some different colors to the different base stations so to identify different base stations on the basis of their codes or colors we have ncc and base station code it is used to represent the total or the number of base stations in an area so this is our identifier which is base station identification code to identify the base station next we have CI. Now this is an identifier which is used to identify a cell. We call it as cell identifier. For example, if we have a cell, now in a complete area we require to identify this. So for cell we have cell identifier. Now this like we have number of cells. And this number of cells is there in any location so for a particular location we require a code so we have LAC which is stands for location area code which is used to identify the location now we have a bigger one that means we have multiple locations in a big area so we have here PLMN, PLMN as public, local, mobile, network. Now this PLMN consists of various location areas, that means location area code. Now the identifier is location area identifier. So within this location area code, we have various cells and we call it as this is cell identifier now how to represent a cell globally that means a cell has a unique id and which is global in nature so that global identifier or global identity of a cell we call it as cgi cgi stands for cell global identity it means if we have a cell and i need to identify this cell globally then what could be the format of this so this cgi consists of first we require as mobile country code or country code so we call it as that it requires cell global identity requires country code then mobile network code, then location area code, then cell identity. That means this is a country, for example, plus 91 and the country is India. Mobile network code, for example, 02 is a code of Airtel. That means in India, Airtel operator. Now location area code, for example, Chandigarh, Chandigarh. In Chandigarh, we have Airtel operator of India and cell global to identify. 
so this could be the identity of a cell through which we can identify the cell so this is cell global identity we required a location area code also because identity with location area is required now next we have IMEI this is international mobile equipment identity now this IMEI number is particular to any device which could attach with the network now as per the composition Discrete of six two digit. This is a composition of the digit. Tag is type approval code. Fact we have as final assembly code. SNR as serial number and from SP this one as spare bit. So in IMEI number type approval code will represent the type of the device that we are using. Final assembly code will represent the area code where the phone is assembled. Serial number is basically the serial number of the handset that we are using and then we have a spare bit if we want to increase we can it use it so total this is of 15 digit and again if I say that this is our permanent number not the temporary one as in case of TMSI so this is about GSM identifiers thank you so much